In this video I'm going to show you how the circular symmetry node works. Its properties are quite similar to those of the apply curve node, so I recommend that you watch that tutorial before this one. The circular symmetry node is a terrain generator, so there are options to change the terrain size and height. You can switch from manual mode to point mode at any time, like in the apply curve node. But the big difference here is that the height of the vertices is impacted from the outside to the centre radially. Now that you understand the principle of circular symmetry, let's see the node in a graph that's a little more complex. With the circular symmetry node properties open, I click on the last node to see the final result. I can now modify the properties and see the final result. All changes are made in real time and the workflow is perfectly seamless. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon for the next tutorial.